you had horse hair that hasn't been treated, you won't get any sound out of it because it would just be like playing on soap. But as soon as you put rosin on the bow, it creates grip for the bow. The bow attaches itself to the string and pulls the sound out. You get light rosins, you get dark rosins, you tend to use a darker rosin on the lower instruments. Quite often when the hair's been on a bow for quite a while, and my bow really needs a rehair right now because if you can see this, um, the side that gets most use, um, there's not all that much hair left at the moment. I've only had this hair on for maybe four, four weeks maximum. And as you're using it, your skin has, has oils in it that however clean your skin is, you're still getting those oils into the hair. When I'm rosining my bow, I tend to put a bit of extra rosin in the bottom of it. And also on the tip, not because that gets dirty, because it doesn't, but somehow it's, it's all psychological. There's a feeling that if you've got more on the top and the bottom, it will spread evenly through the bow, which of course scientifically is complete nonsense. And usually what happens, which is why this is new, is that when I buy a new one, the first time I use it, I drop it. So usually my rosin looks more like this. 